All right, straight ahead, a middleweight matchup between Michael Bisping and George Rush St. Pierre. All right, so here is the legend, George St. Pierre, former UFC welterweight champion, former UFC middleweight champion, and DC as one of the most decorated wrestlers on this UFC roster. You gotta be pretty amazed at what this man has been able to accomplish without any amateur wrestling credentials to speak of. Yeah, with no background, the guys that he's been in there with and controlled the wrestling exchanges has truly been unbelievable to watch. I was in Canada when he fought Josh Koscheck, and he took Josh Koscheck, who's an NCAA champion, down whenever he needed to. Right. But it was also the striking that made him so dangerous. I remember George St. Pierre had this combination. It was a lead jab, a lead Superman jab, and then a leg kick. Everyone wanted to try and do it, and they say imitation is the greatest form of getting a compliment. We all tried to beat George St. Pierre. And he's got more SPs than you. He does. He's a man. <laughs> Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. George St. Pierre is two years his senior. Bisping is three inches taller. GSP will have the one inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush. And now it's the opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England. Ladies and gentlemen, an ultimate fighter season winner, Michael the Count B. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems Whoa! Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Effective strike there by George St. Pierre. Checks the leg kick. St. Pierre gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Tries to work it into a takedown. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. This pin gets caught 
with that punch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just over two minutes, round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Bisping gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Try it, try it. Go, go, go. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. From the clinch now. Ooh, nice trip to get the takedown. St. Pierre's got the full mount. Twenty seconds to go. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop it. Got to defend, but you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, strong punch there by Bisbee. Liver kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Huge block there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. St. Pierre's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. It's such a fast leg kick. Great punch. Just misses there with the left. Single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip. Oh, the spinning back fist. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. This misses her. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh! What a fantastic strike to the oh! some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Michael the Count Bisping. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.